All right, let's get straight to it. 1990 Chevy K1500. This is the 5.7 liter engine. So, the owner says that the car cranks but doesn't start. All right, that checks out. Well, with a strong crank like that, we can rule out the starter and we can rule out the battery. What I like to do when I have um, a crank like that and nothing at all, I like to start at the fuel. With this having eight cylinders, it's gonna take a lot for this to not start at all because of like bad wires or things like that. So um, I like to try out, try, um, you know, at putting a little fuel to it to see if maybe um, the fuel pump is going bad. And I can listen to the fuel pump itself, but I don't have anybody to crank it for me while I, you know, going underneath. So I'm gonna do it this way. All right, let me try to listen for the fuel pump and see. So I don't hear a fuel pump buzzing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the starter fluid trick. I'm gonna take the top of this carburetor off. So I sprayed the starter fluid in there. Let's see if it turns on and cuts back off, it's fuel related. All right, so you heard that it started up for a quick second. Let's try it again. All right, and now it's back to crank, no start. So because it started up for a quick second and turned back off, that proves to me that it's fuel related because it started up when I sprayed the uh, the starter fluid in there. And when that starter fluid burned off, it cut right back off. So I'm gonna go ahead and check for any, um, any fuses or anything first before I call the fuel pump back. Uh, so after checking everything electrical towards the fuel pump, um, everything seems to be fine. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the fuel pump needs to be changed. 